Oh right. Well, I mean, I mean, it didn't help that like Let It Go was also literally just the same thing. And like, oh, but I mean, hey, look, we changed his camera angle so Elsa's hair won't clip. <laughs> I mean, on so, one on one hand, like, yeah. on one hand, it's impressive just seeing how how far like we've come. But like, uh, on on the it's other, literally just, it's literally just Let It Go. Yeah. In, in a so different I, engine. Like, if I wanted come on, to, dog. if I wanted to watch Frozen, I'd watch Frozen. But like, it, yeah. I mean, like minus the Pixar world. But Disney Worlds feel like it's literally just watching the movie trademark. Yeah, and I I know like I know like that's been a complaint with other games as well. But like I have I've never it felt didn't it. Feel like it's not copying the exact. I I never movie. felt it as I yeah I never felt it as much until three. Like it definitely yeah exactly. Has, there's definitely a lot of elements of it in like like two for example, but it still feel like felt like they were trying to put their own spin on it. Yeah, exactly. Like I mean, sure, like Mulan still fired the cannon at Sean Yu. Um, like in the movie, but you know, at least it wasn't like completely like the same. Yeah. And I, I think the the main thing that makes it like stick out is the fact that like they literally, um, like, m like get Sora out of the uh, movie plot so it can like continue, like, uh, uninterrupted or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, the same problem they had with uh, Tangled. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Tangled. They literally had that one scene where Rapunzel actually does the uh, had their little fucking like midlife crisis. It was literally watching the movie. Yeah. Although uh, seeing, although seeing the the group there was actually pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I've expected it, but I was just like, I mean, looking at it on one hand, it is impressive that you know it, you know, it's from the movie, right? But it's yeah. also wow, it's literally just like the movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's definitely impressive visually, but. Like, off, like, but like, but like, dog, come yeah. on! I could have just watched the movie and saved myself some time on a sixty dollars game. The pi that's why the Pixar world are arguably the best part about Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, because versus, they actually yeah. are like sequels, or I, like, or at least two, or at least Toy Story felt like I, it was like in between like two and three. I would, I would say, um, like Olympus as well is pretty good because it feels like yeah. it's um, it like it's that, it, it's like uh, like important to like what's going on with the actual plot. And it's still kind of working. It, well, yeah, I think that's also a better one of the examples of like still chugging the mix in the movie plot because that's still yeah. literally the ending of Hercules. Yeah, it's it's like at that point. Yeah, again, it's like one of those things where like it's it's like a lot like movie plot stuff, but it's putting its own spin on it that makes it work for the series. Triple A, <laughs> or A triple plus, nice. Yay. A it's also triple kind of, plus. You know, it's all, um going back to the game for a second. I just think it's kind of funny about these songs in particular because I never heard the MIDI until this because because the, these are, because we only got final mix on the collection so we only had the, the orchestra versions <laughs> right i was one of the i was one of those people who actually imported um final mix for a ps2 or or you're somebody like um cyberman 65 who probably oh that them, guy uh, oh oh god that guy does a lot for the community i'll say that yeah. i'll say that i'll say that okay like i'll just say that <laughs> I, was... I love watching. I love watching his videos. I used to watch his videos a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Cyber Cyberman. Yeah. Yeah, way back in the day, I used to watch like all his playthroughs. That's how I... I will say. I was. I will say this. Um, even though like, Ken Watts Two is definitely a ma massive step back in t in terms of like level design, I think the worlds themselves have enough intrigue in them to make it so like it's not completely brain dead like it's usually uh it, it's not usually like a, like a lot but um especially with like final mix adding like the puzzle pieces and stuff i feel like there's still like a reason to explore a little bit and i think there are some rooms that do have like not a lot but there is like some platforming here and there um uh, i think like that's, well that's why the cabinet of remembrance is one of the best parts yeah i was gonna get to that as well like i there's definitely some worlds or like some rooms that are better than others. Uh, I think Twilight Town is like pretty. I, I wouldn't say it's like on the level of a, like Kingdom Hearts One world in terms of platforming, but I think it's definitely there more more than like a lot of the others. Um, but I, yeah, I can see what you mean. It's because it's in some of the yeah. chests are like in weird spots. Yeah, and you have to like platform around the buildings and stuff. Um, but I think I, I think the general consistency is uh, pretty good for Kingdom Hearts 2's worlds at least, which is something I can't say for some of the other games. Three, <laughs> three, 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 five, eight. 
I was thinking Burp by Sleep, but that works too. Because the thing with Burp by Sleep that kind of annoys me is that the level design is either really good or it's really bad. <laughs> 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 I don't remember any of the level like, design in that game at but, all. Like stuff like uh, going around like Cinderella's house, that that's really cool. And then you have like um, the other. Oh, part. aren't you small, asshole? When you're in Cinderella's house. Yeah, yes. yeah, but like when, when you yeah. do, when you like explore the rest of the world or like other, I can't remember the worlds in that game. Uh, no, um, why enchanted domain? Yeah, stuff uh, like that. Where it's just it's just basically. Massive, prison. massive squares with nothing in it. <laughs> oh god, god! When Lilo and Stitch got announced, I was so disappointed. It was just yeah. a oh, fucking do prison. Left, do, left. Do, do the boss one, yeah. Oh, right, that should yeah. be. Uh... Yeah, cause like, yeah, buddy. But like, hey, that's right. Right. Hey, hey, guess what, kids? Pete's invincible. <laughs> cause it's like, uh, <laughs> um, again, like Kingdom Hearts Two is definitely again, it's a step back, but um, at least it's consistent. <laughs> like it's no, it never gets that bad. And even, even like with Pride Lands, like we said, you're super fast in line sword form, so it's not as bad as it could have been. Not as bad. At least they also give you the lion. At least they also give you the lion dash relatively. Well, not 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 too late in the level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlike yeah, unlike um, Atlantica, where it's like right at the end. <laughs> Pretty much. You literally get it just to get it to like Ursula's second form. Yeah. Exactly. And then Dream, uh, Dream Drop is a weird one because, like, I think, I think the level design in that game is actually really good. But the problem is that you can just cheese half of it. I still, I feel, I will still die, and to the idea, to the fact that I just wished Kingdom Hearts 3D didn't have the fucking four switch mechanic. I think it easily could have been like one of my favorite games if it didn't have that. I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think uh, you get used to it though. Like I'm sure people will make the argument though, but I'm just like, bro, that I'm you're literally putting me on a timer. I actually want to either grind or explore the world, it. look yeah. around the world a little bit, because like I hate being on a fucking forced timer. Like it I just mean, that's fair. The, it just takes away yeah. from the game, dude. The, the way the way I play the game now is just I just kind of like play by the will, I guess. So I just kind of let. I just do as much as I can with one character and let it like switch when it does. And I really don't like being interrupted when I'm doing a bot. I'm literally one okay, no, away. That... It's like, oh, okay, so I yeah. gotta go to night night, guys. I I I, <laughs> no, I I won't defend that. That sucks. That's a bad. That is just a bad. Yeah, just a bad design. That's, yeah. that's a huge oversight. <laughs> no, honestly, like if you win to a boss fight or a force fight, it definitely should have paused the timer or some shit. Yeah. Cause like, come on, man. Like, I'm li I'm trying to focus. I need a rush. Like. Come on, man. Yeah. Obviously, it's a, this is definitely a better game of hindsight. <laughs> Although I will say, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I feel, I, okay. I, to, to be fair, I do need to replay the game fully before I say this, uh, for definite. But I feel like I prefer the level design in Dream Drop over Frey, because I feel like, at least in terms of uh, rewards, I feel like Dream Drop just rewards you better with the chests and all that. You're just, right. bitter, you're just bitter over getting uh, get the games, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I'm, well, that that definitely doesn't help. But like, the thing with free is that like it has all the like it has the, like all these open spaces and you get all these chests and all that. But ninety percent of the time, it's not rewarding. The potions or something, and yeah, any of the like, big chests are just or just a map or something. Yeah, it's like who cares? You got a retro game. Because like, like with, with Dream Drop and I and by extension Burp by Sleep, um, if you get a big chest, like you don't know what it's gonna be. It could be like a like a new command that like kicks ass or something. <laughs> could be a new like um yeah, it could be a new command or a new um card combo. Or, or like in BBS specifically, I think a giant a big chest gives you glide or something. Oh, it gives you glide. Oh, that's cool. I didn't like, know. That. And I know. I know the numbered ge uh, games are no stranger to making big rewards be put in chests, so like, uh, make it so you, we get like a new Keyblade or a new, a new ability or shot lock or something. Or, or something. Like, torn uh, page. Yeah. yeah, like a torn page as well. Like, anything like that would be a lot more interesting than a map or uh, classic Kingdom mini games that I don't care about. Yeah, I'll be right I back. Yeah, I yeah. don't think anyone cared about that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, yeah. it's, it's cool it's in the game, but like... It's a cool I, it's novelty. I, it's a cool it's novelty, you. but like, it, it wears off fast. I mean, they're like fucking like... 
quick, like, minute distraction, I guess. Yeah. I think I'd rather spend my time fucking learning how to cook than fucking doing that, honestly. Yeah, I'm kind of indifferent oh, towards God, the cooking no minigame. Oh, fucking card. Let's not talk about those guys. Hey. It's kind of weird seeing them, seeing them in this color. I didn't even know they had a color. Actually, they, don't they have color when you fight them in the underworld, though? Uh... I don't think they show I'm up back, in the. Sorry. I don't think the cars show up in the underworld. I think, it, I think it's just timeless river and the cavern of remembrance. Oh, oh no, uh, no, no. Uh, you know what you're thinking of, Nick? You're thinking of um, the arena. Oh, right. Is the arena song in, in this game? Because that that theme slaps. I don't think so. Oh, that's lame. Cause it just, cause it, well, probably because it's just another take on the battle theme. It's so good though. I love Since this world, by the way. Since we're at Timeless River, something that's a remind, something that's kind of cool is when you do um uh, the boss fights in the in Final Mix in the HD version, at any rate, they actually remix Rowdy Rumble and uh the and um uh, and the other boss theme just so um just to have a bit more of the filter. Yeah, I. It's it's very slight, but it's noticeable. One thing, one thing that I will say, uh, that. I, I definitely pr I will say this I definitely prefer Sora as a character from Chain of Memories onwards because in a I mean I, I I get what they were going for with one I don't li dislike Sora in one but he's a lot more um, he feels a lot more like melancholic I guess uh, whereas in Chain of Memories in two like he feels a lot more snarky and like playful I guess which I think is just more entertaining. No, I definitely like snarky Sora especially in Kingdom Hearts two where he talks shit to Pete. Like, yeah, well, we may have killed your friend Maleficent. I'm just like, what an asshole. I love it, dude. Or like in the start of uh, Rechain, when, when uh, Sora's just like, we're going over to the door. What, are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I remember actually trying to... Doing the song a lot, by the way, just to get the per just to get the all excellent chain. Yeah, this is also just a good example of like the difference in design philosophy between one and two. Because like in this game, it's like you go through a bunch of rooms that gives you different like combat scenarios. Whereas if you, if the same world was in one, there'd probably be a lot of platforming challenges instead. It's kind of cartoony aesthetic it's going for as well. Yeah, I would really love to see on, this one. On a board. I would love to see or this like, world come um, back. Well, I mean, there's well, what, no reason well, what, for it to come I back. mean, yeah, yeah, because it's uh, the past, yeah. technically. So, like, what would you even do? If... I, know, I mean, would you base it on like some of the older cartoons or something? Uh, I, I don't. Or, yeah, I, I mean, don't really I know mean, what they where's do. Where's Oswald the Rabbit? You can probably put him in there, right? I guess. I don't know. I just, I just like this like uh, aesthetic. Aesthetic. Like it, it, it. I guess they kind of brought it back with the mini games in free but i don't like those so no one i don't think anyone cares <laughs> oh god without the ever carvest rhythm is so fucked Ugh. i was actually being quiet there because i kind of need to let you cook <laughs> okay that oh still going wait yeah i was just like wait what <laughs> wait what <laughs> that was a mix-up i was just like wait it's o wait not over hello <laughs> Yeah, that, that that last part, I was like, oh, this part's actually really hard, so I was gonna let him stay quiet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Believe me, I've done this song too many times. I've, I've done this song too many times that I know it. <laughs> yeah. Huzzah. Yay! Oh, time for Hollow Bastion. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Or Radiant Garden, sorry. I I do I do like the uh, sh like uh, world theme. Um, at least it evolved, at least it changes it though, because yeah. you're in a different part of Hollow Bastion. Well, I'm, well, it, that, well that and also well, it's re it's, uh, it's, it's, it feels like it's also reconstructing back to its original self. I like how the like uh, shops are like flowing and stuff. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, because you're in that part in Kingdom Hearts Two, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I I I do I I. I'm not sure whether or not I like one or two's like world theme more. Like I, I like both or I like both of them uh, a lot. Like I, I, I do love like oh the God. feeling. I do like the feeling of um, like actually, like making the 
place go back to what the way it was or, or whatever. If you're gonna bring back the world, you should definitely show how it's progressing and that the one year time skip from yeah. one and two though, and I think Hall of Bastion definitely executes that pretty well. Yeah. The whole like, mm -hmm. since Maleficent is gone, we can try to restore Radiant Garden to what it was from BBS when it wasn't overrun by Heartless and shit. Yeah, and again, I said it, said it before, but when stuff goes down in Hollow Bastion Radiant Garden, like, it, it's, it's like, insane. You're always, you're always deter- it's always guaranteed to be something big's gonna happen. Yeah. Doesn't matter what the context is. Yeah, and uh, it, usually a lot of the heavy, like, story stuff happens here as well. Uh, like, th well, speaking of going in this room here, um, yeah, it, it's the- The one I mentioned, the Door of Darkness? Well, well, that and also- the uh, mm. like the re reveal that like Ansem wasn't really Ansem or whatever, and like the, how they're saying. Oh like... god! And now the Kingdom Hearts one was basically you just trying to stop somebody's shadow or something like that. Wait, right. I, I that reminds me because I hate when people say like, oh well, that means the first game was pointless. I'm no. like, uh, no. Not really. You kind of need to stop this guy from blunting the world. Exactly. The darkness, so when, whenever like, I hear, uh... whenever I hear that argument, all that tells me is that they weren't paying attention. I'll, 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 again, I'll, I mean, I'll again. say it as a joking matter. I'll say it as yeah. a joking yeah. matter, but yeah. like, I'm not okay. gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna it's, like fully 100 say, "Wow, Kingdom Hearts One was the voice of my sixty dollars. I want a refund." <laughs> well, cause, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. well, it wasn't answer, but that's not the point. It was still something. It was still ultimately was the still leader a of bad the heart. Guy list. that was going to yeah. open the open the world, like, open it, the darkness into the world. Like, so, it like, doesn't, it doesn't, on, like it doesn't matter like who he was. He still needs to be stopped. And right. also, the, also you had like fucking like how many Disney villains trying to like plunge the world into darkness? Yeah. I think you got to stop those guys too. Yeah. Even though, yeah, because like they were the ultimate, they they were the original goal, but then Anson did kind of hijack at the end, but still. I mean, I was, I, I think, uh, I, I'd argue, say that. Oh. I, I, I would it's argue, please. I would arguably say that like Anson did it better than Ganon did in Twilight Princess, but. <laughs> Yeah, I will say this. I do. Yeah, that is a good point as well. Like, uh, I, I do prefer like how Zemnus is like a, a a threat from like the start of the game, where it was whereas Ansem kind of just shows up at the end game. No, oh, you've awakened at last, princess. And I'm just like, wait, who the fuck are you? Do I, am I supposed to know you? I mean, I guess there's like foreshadowing in like Destiny Islands, but still, he doesn't really show up after oh, that, that. <laughs> oh that sexy voice it must be billy zane he must be a villain that was, from that from uh, the island that was that that was that was messy yeah not not gonna sugarcoat it yeah no i, I yeah i'm not gonna cause the face i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but yeah i, I, I i'll say <laughs> this yeah i will say this is definitely not my favorite version of this theme but i still it's grown on me over time I this, one's more, one, this one's a lot more. This one's a lot more subdued. This one's a lot more subdued. Yeah, I mean, like it's the start of the game, whereas in one it was the end. So. Mm -hmm. Although it still gets that. Uh, it does work better for some of the more story beats. I'll give it that. Yeah. Oh, done. I, I think I it also. Was... That, that voice was kind of really weird. <laughs> I think it also helps with the context because. We're like trying to re restore Hollow Bastion, so it's like it's more of a lighter tune as opposed to like. Whereas um, it, yeah, in one it's like an enemy. One, you're literally in Maleficent's face. It's no, it's enemy territory, so it's, it should sound foreboding or like, like scary or what have you. Menacing. Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's why it's my favorite song in Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah. It's really good in Kingdom Hearts One. That's why I think that's also why. It's, I mean, well, Hollow Bastion is pretty iconic, which is probably why they chose that one for. Smash, but then yeah. again, yeah. like, what, I mean, what, what else are you gonna do? Twilight Town, Traverse mm -hmm. Town, fucking, um, I don't know what else. Well, is I there? mean, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think how uh, I know we talked about this last time, Twilight, uh, but um, Humble Bastion one was probably the better, uh, the best choice to do. It yeah. was probably the best choice, yeah. Especially like the themes probably fit a Smash I mean, game over like two. Uh, two I mean, things. like v visually, I wouldn't have minded. Uh, what was that oh, true. You called? can imagine Disney Islands, but like no, not not that, not nah, that, not nah, that, not nah, that. Nah, no, 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 not that. Nah, um, nah. What, what was the final boss world in free, whatever it's called? Uh, I wouldn't have minded that, but I feel like that's a bit. Mm, I, I'm not sure you. Scarlet Island. I, mean, I, I was gonna be like Scarlet oh, um, Island or something. I don't know. Uh, the oh, world hey, that like fucking Zemnus and Young um what the fuck his name was it, Young Ericus was in that one. Yeah, yeah. 
Like that would have yeah, been right. that been cool yeah, too. Yeah, this is a heartless game. Yeah, I, that would have been cool too. But I don't think you should have like uh, that as like a world and uh, as like a stage in Smash because uh, I don't know that. Seems maybe a bit... it's a spoiler. Maybe it's a spoiler, but like it's more of a, like a late game. Like if you really paid attention to like the Kingdom Hearts three opening or something. Yeah. I love this fame. I have vivid uh, yes. memories. The, I have vivid the memories of, me of limit family. Grind. The theme of me limit grinding. The the theme of me um spamming that triangle button. Like everything about the thousand, not even just the thousand heartless fight, but like just that section of the game, I just love so much because um there's just hype moments like up the wazoo, but there's also a lot of just story intrigue. You get the reveal of like the Ansem stuff, um and. There's just so much going on that, like, it, it's just peak Kingdom Hearts. I said the best way I can put it. That's only one of the high points of the game. Yeah. High yes points, I can say. Yeah. Uh, I will say this about the, um, the, uh, like Ansem reveal thing. The, the, the reason I I like it a lot is because, um, like it it, it makes uh, Ansem the Wise a lot more interesting as a character. Uh, and like when you look in the the um, Ansem reports in two specifically, you see a lot of the backstory and like how like like him getting screwed over by his apprentices like really screwed him up. Um, and I don't know. I just find that really interesting. I think they. Like, it's no wonder why he's, like, so, like, angry towards, like, just the, just the nominee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do, yeah, I think Anson the Wise is, like, slept on as a, as a character, because I feel like he has a lot of, um, his ploy is just really interesting to me. Well, I, well, I'm glad they kind of explored that, because Kingdom Hearts 1, you kind of have the question, wait, what the fuck? I thought this guy yeah. was, like, exploring the- it was actually, like, doing good, like, uh, just curiously exploring about hearts and shit, and then, like, what, he went evil or something? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Gen generic evil villain plot, yeah. speaking of which. I mean, like, especially when you read the Ansem reports as well, like, it makes, uh, Zemnus and, like, Ansem the Wise's conversation in the, uh, well, that never was, like, a lot more impactful, because, like, you know the context. Remind me, it was like, uh, he, uh, uh, Ant they took on the name Ants to just a spite Ants and the Wise, right? Yeah, like, Ants, uh, what is it? Ansem, like, uh, took, like, did a lot of experiments in the heart, and it was basically like, we need to stop this, this is getting out of hand, and then Xehanort said, screw you, I'm gonna do more of this, and, and I'm gonna... Take Fine, your name. I'm gonna. I'm doing myself. I'm gonna take your name and drag you like in the mud, basically. Oh, oh shit! I totally forgot Tron World the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I appreciate the boomer kind of like older like material, but like, damn, I kind of forgot Tron World the world. Yeah. I mean, they brought back Tron. Le they brought fucking Tron Legacy. Was in 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 BB in Green Drop. Green yeah, yeah, 3DS. Yeah, I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> People actually like that movie? I, I didn't even watch it. I, I've never I seen... I watched it. I thought it was... I watched it. I thought it was okay. I've never seen the Tron movie, I'll be honest. I watched Legacy, the first one. Legacy, I need to rewatch it, though. Um, Legacy is okay, but but, when I, but I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> I remember not seeing it. First, well, do you need context from the first movie? Probably not, right? I don't Who the fuck watches the first movie? Don't... I don't think so. I honestly oh, didn't know who this fucker was when he first was first revealed in Kingdom Hearts 2, and then I was just like, wait, what? I haven't watched those movies since I was like in single digits. I, I know who Tron was. I've oh, always yeah, heard of, uh, or at least I'm, or at least I've heard, or at least I'm familiar with Tron. Right. Like, I've, yeah, yeah, I've always, I've always known like who Tron was, but I've never seen the movies. Right. I mean, like Tron's more iconic. Although I'd say his bike is more iconic than he is at this point. <laughs> it is a video that game. Is, yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that, actually. I mean, that's also I mean, kind of why it's a game it. in this game, too. Yeah, that's another thing about 2 that um, is a kind of weird, I guess. Like, it has a weird obsession with, like, these 
random mini games, <laughs> and the the quality can uh, vary like heavily. Sometimes, sometimes the bike game is fun. Sometimes it's kind of jank. Yeah, and like some of the mini games I really like, but other other ones are like really pointless. Like making a boo get across like this uh, room to put a crystal in a hole, or like moving a wardrobe. <laughs> like, what's the point in this? <laughs> That's the hardest part of the game. What are you talking about? So yeah, I... you, yeah, you have to mash, and then you have to, you know, piss off when you're moving mash. around. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't... clearly, you clearly you haven't been doing it right. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind the mini games in two on principle, but some of them are just so random and like are just like nothing. <laughs> do we count counting? Uh, do we count um, counting catching the what in um Halloween Town? What the, what, the, uh, what the three little shits? <laughs> yeah, the three little shits, yeah. Well, that's like a boss, isn't it? It's tree. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, oh, it, it, it's tree, like, it's tree, like, 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 something like that. Yeah. I think when you're off, you, 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 have to, you do have like, to fight them. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'd them. say, I'd say that's more like a gimmick fight, not so much a mini game. I mean, there is also that mini game where you also make friends and they just get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's an actual mini game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, I'm trying to remember both through them all real quick. I would say um, this, in there... terms of in terms of like mini games, I do like the random like uh, skateboarding mini games. I was about world. to actually bring that up too, because that yeah. was actually kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> like someone just really liked Tony Hawk, I guess. So just, let's just put a bunch of skateboarding mini games. Let's make Sora know how to ride a skateboard, even though he's probably never touched one in his life. Yeah. I would say this as well. The the uh, I w the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2 never overstay their welcome. I feel like the game generally just has a good pace where like you're not in one place for too long. The worlds are the worlds are like I don't want they're not short but they're not yeah but they're, they're like a good mid length. Yeah, whereas in I like they can kind of drag a little bit into it, it, not into um in Dream Drop Distance and as free especially. I mean, yeah, especially, in, so I guess since they're there for only one visit they, in three, they just want to make sure that it, it lasts. Yeah. You're getting your time's worth, but it's like, no, dude, you definitely could have, like, made these rooms a little smaller. Yeah. That's the thing as well, again, with, like, free, is concerned with, like, making the worlds as big as possible, but that's not really what makes a world fun to explore. Like, some worlds in free are definitely better than others, but, you know... Can you tell that my opinions on free are very uh, confusing? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't say much on it because I've only played it like once. So, like, I don't remember a lot of the game. I mean, I did go through, like, heavy. Um, uh, what, what's that phrase where like, you play something for the first time and it's, like, super magical? You were you were, you were definitely were riding the hype when the game first came out. Something like that is. Like, I, I I I don't have any better description for it. So, it's like uh, it's like the honeymoon phase. I think we're like. That's uh, a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, like when I first played the started playing the game, I I remember specifically saying, "Oh, this is like the best game in the series." And it's like when I when I like finished it and like actually thought about it a bit more. Like, I still like the game a lot, but it has so many problems. <laughs> it rocks doesn't get the joy and the fun. <laughs> or rocks us. It's like... I don't know, Free's just so weird. I definitely want to you... replay it again, just so I can have a better opinion on it at some point. Yeah. I think... Because the thing is, like... I I like... I feel like I, I probably rank it overall more... Like higher than like Birth by Sleep and Dream Shop, but I think I'd probably still rather play those games because they don't drain me as much. If that makes any sense. Because we can barely get through certain things. Oh yeah, Sacred Moon. You know, I'm gonna switch to Sora because I think it makes sense for this world. That's fine. I mean, sure, go ahead, man. No one's stopping you. Hmm. I would say I would say this. Uh, I think. Like as a world, I I prefer, I I prefer this over like End of the World in one, just because I I just like like the feeling of like uh, infiltrating. The world that never was. Well, well, that too. But I just like the feeling of infiltrating like enemy 
an enemy base because you're going up the organization's castle which i just i just really like that concept what do you mean you're already in their castle chain of memories clearly <laughs> the second castle then <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I know the, also the music. Uh, I think uh, the music is also a big step up from End of the World too. Um. Well, I, 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 um, I, I'd argue about that one. It, it, I think it depends more on the. I think it's the context. I, I'd no, say I, 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 I definitely prefer End of the World over. I mean, not, I mean this one. Sorry, World I, I, never I, was. I, I, I mixed the two I do, up. I mixed the two up. I'm sorry. I, I do like both a lot, but I think it's debatable which one, which one's better. This one's definitely catcher. Yeah. I'll do it that. Yeah, that. Oh man, the backbeat on the in the midi definitely has a bit more to it. I noticed. Hmm. Like that, like that bat, like, like the like the like the, the percussion in the back. Yeah. Is a is a. Uh, I I we kind of, I guess we kind of talked about it a little bit, but. Um, just, I guess go like talking in just general terms now. Like, how do you guys feel about just the story in two? Like, in like as a whole. Story? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it definitely makes for it. It, it makes for it makes for a fun, it, it does make for a neat adventure. Yeah. I mean, it also makes it a good natural showing of Sora's growth. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, I, 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 I know I said this already, but like the easiest way I can describe it is that I don't think it's as consistent as one, but I think the highs are like a lot higher. Fair enough. Um, and I think especially with like the world that never was specifically, like it just has so many hype moments, especially with like the with the Zemnus fights. Like it just <laughs> the end of Kingdom Hearts Two just goes so hard. All right, deep drive. Yeah, this is a really good theme. This one goes super hard. Yeah. And I feel like... I don't know, I feel like this game just does a really good good job in, like, expanding on the Kingdom Hearts lore without being too much. I feel, I feel like when people complain about our oh, Kingdom Hearts being too hard to follow and all that... Okay, this is actually... Something I need to focus on. Hold that thought. I mean, if you if you're oh. having problems understanding Kingdom Hearts lore, like, ooh, uh, you're gonna you're in for a, uh, quite a long run. Then you know. No, I think the problem the problem with, when I when I see people say that, it's usually because they just like immediately just get given like a bunch of information immediately when that's never how it should how the series should be. Consumed. No, please, please, please play the game and like, read it for yourself. Don't fucking, like, don't listen to what someone said. Come on. Yeah, it's like, the, these games are meant, to, like, are meant to be, like, like played, like, over a long period of time. They're not, they're, you're not supposed to get all this information in the span of, like, a couple of minutes. Like, that's going to drive you insane. Yeah, like, I've, I've been doing pretty well keeping up with the story. Out it. Yeah, like, the... Obviously, that there's like some elements to the law that is gonna take a little while to like kind of wrap your head around. Yeah, but like, it's I really don't like. If you just like, if you play the series the way it's intended, I really don't think it's like as confusing as it's generally made out to be. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I think I think the thing as well, the thing as well is that like, this is so, like, when did Kingdom Hearts One come out? Uh, like 2000... 2000... 2002, 2001. Something like that, yeah. I think yeah. I think 2002 for US at the very least. I'll double check. Yeah. So like, a series that's been like ongoing for like. Like twenty plus years is like of course the like uh 
trying to keep up with things is going to be difficult at that point because there's like so much. Yeah, considering much. how long the series has been going on, and it's yeah. like, wow, Kingdom Hearts is actually a decently popular IP. So I mean, of course we want to expand on the universe a little bit more, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. First released in March, uh, on March twenty eighth, two thousand two, in Japan. Right. So it's been like, uh, what, like 21 years? Pretty much. 21 years. Jesus Christ, it's old enough to fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's like, any series that's been alive for that long and still kicking is like, yeah, it's gonna get. Yeah, they're still good. Yeah, gonna... Kingdom Hearts 4 is coming. Holy shit. Yeah, there, there's gonna... I thought we were gonna stop after 3, honestly. Yeah, there, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, like, lore that's been built up over the years. So it's like, of course, it's gonna be confusing if you, like, hear about all of it in, like, a couple of minutes. Where's the fun in this? Dance, what a dance! <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say this, I'm not like saying like Kingdom Hearts is like a masterclass in storytelling or anything like that. No. It has it has oh, its pro fuck, it, no, ha fuck, no. it has its problems, don't get me wrong, but like if I had to just talk about it in terms of my enjoyment, it's one of my favorite stories in fiction because it's just something about it is just so interesting to me that I just can't help but follow it. I think we still follow it because we started it. We kind of want to know how it ends, you know? Exactly. I mean, like, I mean, that's part like of it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, 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 well, that's definitely part of it. And I, I'm not playing it out of obligation. Yeah, no, I play it because I want to. Um, and it's like, with uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 especially, um, like, don't get me wrong, I'm interested to see how they improve on gameplay from 3 and, like, what they learned from that game. But, uh,. If I be if I had to be honest, uh, I'm most lo mostly looking forward to the story because I just want to see where things go from her. Mm -hmm. Well, considering this is like the end of the Xehanort saga or the Dark Seeker well, or whatever well, that's already it. done. Yeah, the, yeah exactly. The called, like, the Dark Seeker arc or whatever. Yeah, that, that's what's so exciting about the, the like the new like Kingdom Hearts Four because it's like this is new territory. We don't know what they're gonna do. We put Sora in the, in the real life world. What do we do, boys? Uh, Stradell, hey, that guy from the Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> and also the thing, like the stuff with Yazor as well, like, like just. Oh. Yeah, that that went really well for a while. <laughs> but like the stuff with Yazor, <laughs> Yazor's like whole deal as well. Like, I want to learn more about him. What? 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 what, what why? I just want to watch. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I, 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 please, please, Namura, please. I'd love to know why too. And then, like, uh -huh. I don't know, the, 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 <laughs> it kind of annoys me at the same time, but, like, the, the mobile games unironically have some of the best stories in the series. You mean the fucking phone, wait, you mean the phone game? Yeah. We actually need to, we really need to look at shit. Oh, I haven't looked at, um, uh, Dark Road yet, but he Dark just Road is put the habit that you... Dark Road goes hard. <laughs> Union, really Union, when, when you actually get past in Union Cross, when it actually gets going, oh boy. Yeah. So yeah, and that's when all the Yaoi fanfictions happened. I, don't worry, I know. I you talking about, about the crying bit? Yeah. Oh yeah, when Sora literally got on his knee and cried and bawled his fucking eyes out. I lurched everywhere for you, Rico. I'm just shaking my head, just putting down my control like, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, by the way, and now we gotta do the Zen this night. Yeah. Although, like... I don't know, like... The... <laughs> like... I, th I feel like the, the, just a, a bond between, like, your best friend is gonna be, like, different from, like... But it didn't need to go that yeah. hard, like... I, on, I, 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 well, like, yeah, I don't know. I... You kind of just embrace the cheese in us. I mean, it's not, it's not an RPG without some kind of gay coupling in it, in it am I right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. There's there's always a bromance in any RPG. Don't at me. Okay, I don't like this as much as the the orchestra, but I, I really, really love the Darkness of the Unknown. Also, it's kind of cursing, like, Kinemus one Sora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, Donald and Goofy were also helping you in this fight, too. Totally. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, you're right. I was thinking it more. I got the orchestra. It's like a little weird. Or without the orchestra, it's weird. Yeah. Like this theme is like I think it's um, the act two or whatever. Like the second phase uh, of this uh, of this, tra this track specifically is like it oh. go it goes ridiculously hard. Right here. 
Um, I don't know what version this is, but... <laughs> wow, Thor yeah. just ate that like a man. There you go. Yeah. He's trying. Yeah. Not, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, like right here, this is where the soundtrack actually goes pretty hard. Oh god. Fine, you're fine. So what would you guys say, like, music-wise, what would you guys say is your favorite uh, final boss in the series? Mm. Uh, oh god, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know. Remember what, I don't even remember what half of them sound like. <laughs> I gotta think about that. I, when, when I say, uh, like, when I say but, fi final boss, I, I like, all, like, all the, f all the themes from, like, uh, the start of, of the, uh, of the, f uh, phases, I so, guess. So you're saying, like, in Dream Drop, that would include the young Xehanort theme? I guess so, or, like, uh... Because it transitions into that. Yeah, and, like, the start, like, the first yeah. Ansem fight to the, uh, to the final so one, and, like, um... Mm -hmm. When you when you go when you go to the through that door in Kinemats 2 towards like up to Final Xemnas. Suddenly a bottle washed up on shore. And I don't I don't know. There are some really good ones. Bang. I'm kinda iffy, like, I'm, I'm kinda I'm iffy on freeze, I'll say that much. In 3D. 3Ds. But first we uh, got recoded! Oh right, that's a video game. We should probably do that, huh? <laughs>